Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Protect me in the light as we do this reading for Virgo. How does this person feel about Virgo? How does this person feel about Virgo? Are you not talking to this person right now, Virgo? Is there little communication? Because I feel like, um, yeah, this person's energy is hesitant to kind of express how they feel um, you could feel like this person doesn't tell you how they feel how does this person feel about Virgo please spirit sorry guys I only take the cards that flip or fall out so I'm not going to rush the process feel free to fast forward if necessary spirit how does this person feel about Virgo yeah, this person really does not want to talk. And that's why. That makes complete sense. Um, this person could have been inconsistent, hot and cold, breadcrumbed you, said one thing, did another. There's a very painful ending between the two of you here. At least that's how this person feels. Um, some sort of betrayal, backstabbing here. And I feel like this person just doesn't want to talk. There's no communication here right now. Um, I feel like this person does have trouble expressing how they feel. So even though they might be going through this Ten of Swords energy of just feeling like, you know, when you're going through the Ten of Swords, it just feels like it's, it's like the end of the world, so to speak, you know, like not to be dramatic, but that's how it can really feel sometimes. And I feel like this person... Um, it just doesn't want to talk. I just don't want to have a conversation here. So let's just go a little bit further then. Tell me about that Ten of Swords, please, Spirit. The Nine of Pentacles. Magician, the world's temperance. You could be dealing with a uh, Sagittarius or an Aries here. I feel like... Um, I feel like there was an imbalance here. I feel like um, this person, what I'm getting is maybe even acted single when they weren't single, when they were supposed to be committed to you. I feel like um, this person is trying to like regain themselves back in some way. Like they're really, this has really taken a toll on them. Like even the energy, I feel that it was so hesitant to come out, but when now that it, it is showing up, I just feel drained. I feel tired. I feel exhausted. Um, this could also be you with this person, Virgo, take it how it resonates. But yeah, there's just this, there's just this energy of feeling like I just need to like let this go like I just need to be done with this because it just feels exhausting like it just feels like there's an imbalance here there's just not um yeah that's that's what I'm getting from that tell me about the magician please spirit tell me about the magician I feel like this person is trying to manifest a reconciliation here with you I feel like they want to talk and they want things to be better here with you, but they don't know how to do that. Tell me about the magician, please. Yeah, look at that. That's exactly what I was saying. Like they want a fresh new beginning here with you. Um, they want to start over. I feel like there's a lot of emotion here for you, Virgo. Um, but the, the betrayal that has happened, the ending that has happened between the two of you, 
um, is weighing so heavy on them or you or both to the point where this person is just like stagnant, like nothing's happening. Like for me to sh have to shuffle that, you know, long for cards to come out, it's like this person's energy is really holding back. There's a lot of hesitancy here. But yeah, this person is trying to manifest a fresh new beginning here with you. They want... Um, to start over basically and i feel like it's because this person feels quite strongly about you there's a lot of emotion here but i feel like this person has trouble saying that they have trouble expressing themselves and a lot of people do for different reasons but you know anyway so let's see this person's actions what actions will this person take towards virgo in the next two to four weeks spirit what actions will this person take towards virgo please thank you four swords and it comes four wands it's like so you're getting fours back to back here Oof, the tower okay scorpio energy here this is gonna come out of nowhere i feel especially because i feel like there's been a separation period here where this person you have not been in communication with this person or at least they've drawn back their energy so even if you're still like living with this person or in close physical proximity i feel like there's no communication here there hasn't been but the this person wants to come forward here. I feel like they want to offer you commitment. They've been thinking about this. They, um, you know, have really put some thought into what has happened and what they want to do differently. But I mean, I'm just getting this energy, Virgo. I got to keep it real that the actions need to be consistent and like long term like this. I feel like you're in the space, Virgo, where you're going to be like, OK, yeah, like I'll give you another chance, you know, if you really want to do this. But if this can't last like a couple weeks where you try this, this needs to be real. Like I feel like this person wants long term here with you. This is, you know, um, long-term commitment here halfway to marriage here this person wants to offer their cup of love like i said there's emotion here you could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio um i'm just getting this energy of exhaustion though and this could honestly be you virgo where you're just like i'm just tired of this i'm just tired of this but this is definitely going to come out of nowhere here i feel like you're not really expecting this person to come forward i feel like because after what happened there's some sort of pain heavy energy here and this person knows basically um the wrong that has been done um but when my cards start to sync up here you know with the four is this the universe's way of telling me it's spirit's way of telling me this is a significant relationship in your life like you know nothing is a coincidence in my eyes but when we when the energy comes out picking up a certain relationship it's like this was part of your soul's journey this was something that you agreed to prior to coming to earth and i know not everyone believes that or agrees with that but that's my belief and that's what comes out for me in the cards so when my cards sync up it's like you're on the right path basically and this person was meant to come into your life what what's the lesson here what's being learned um not just you from them but them to you right it's uh significant for both parties i would say so let's just see anything else about this person's actions spirit in the next two to four weeks little less could be a little less could be a little more and there's the tower i'm telling you this is going to come out of nowhere here scorpio energy this is going to be a big surprise here virgo yeah out of nowhere this person is gonna i feel come back because there's already been some sort of really heavy energy between the two of you here with that ten of swords energy and you're not going to expect this um but you know the tower is a surprise it's the universe's way of being whatever is work whatever's happening right now isn't working for you anymore and i feel like this person's done some introspection here so you know everyone deserves a second chance like i'm a firm believer in that but if you know virgo this is like the seventh eighth ninth tenth chance with this person then maybe there's the lesson to be learned as opposed to another chance right everyone's journey is different no one can tell you what's right or wrong for you use your discernment use your intuition um there could have been a lot of arguing between the two of you a lot of fighting a lot of petty fights i'm hearing um but yeah this is definitely going to come out of nowhere this person wants to like date you all over again and they want this commitment here with you so let's see their intentions what is this person's intentions please spirit with virgo They're not ready to close this cycle out with you is also what I'm getting here. Um, tell me about this person's intentions. The Four of Cups. 
We're getting another four, 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 four. You could be seeing four, four, four. I feel like this person knows that this will be a missed opportunity with you if they don't come forward and they don't put their best foot forward. The issue I'm I'm picking up on is that it needs to be consistent. It, it, it can't just last for a couple weeks, like I was saying. Um, look at that, the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo here. This person's intentions are good, I have to say. You know, I feel like this person wants happiness here with you. They see a bright future with you. Um, they want to come back from the pain and, and, and work on this and fix this. It's just a matter, again, of doing it consistently. Um, the Strength, Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups. Yeah. Okay, so again, Leo, heavy on the Leo energy here. Also Aries, Sagittarius. Um, yeah, heavy on the fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, but also Scorpio. This person holds back. I really feel like they do. And, you know, with this Knight of Wands, I feel like they're, it's one of those situations where it's like, they're super passionate. They come in, they like can tell you how much they care about you. And then they're gone or like they pull back. It's like there's a lot of physical connection here between the two of you. There's a lot of chemistry here. And I almost feel like this person could use um, that as intimacy, like getting physical as intimacy. You know, it's like that is intimate, but there's more to it, right? There's emotion behind it. And I feel like that's where this person gets weary. I feel like this person does want to walk away from the fights, from the arguing here, um, from the petty disagreements I'm hearing. Um, but again, it's consistency. That's what I'm, what I, I'm getting. Because with this Knight of Wands energy, it's like that's an inconsistent energy it's not someone who um you know it's like one thing one day and a different a next and so let me just pull on that tell me about that knight of wands i just feel like this person holds back they hold back their emotions they might you might not, might not even know virgo how much you actually mean to this person because i feel like they don't like say it um tell me about the knight of wands please spirit yeah Okay, so you're getting the Seven of Swords. So just be aware here, Virgo, that I'm going to pull another card. But so let me just pull another card first because I don't want to like those two cards together are not really good. I'm just going to keep it real with you. Um, tell me more about that Knight of Wands, please, Spirit. Getting the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely someone from your past here, someone you've already dealt with. Um, just be aware that I feel like this person um, has had the tendency to deceive and be untruthful for a long time here. I feel like this is going back to like, you know, and kids lie all the time. Kids lie about, did you eat the cookie? No, I didn't. That's not what I'm talking about. But I do feel like this person has like been deceptive for quite a long time. That's what I'm getting. Um, I feel like it does weigh heavy on them that they do this. Like I'm saying, like, I feel like they want this transformation here. They want to change, but it's about being consistent. I feel like they think like if they're good for like a week or two, then everything's all good. But it's like, no, like this is like an upkeep. Like if you're going to work on yourself, like self-healing and self-progress is a lifelong thing. It's not, you know, it's not a temporary thing. Um, so just be aware this person could still kind of manipulate at times, withhold information. I feel like this is the type of person to say something like, you know, I didn't lie. I just didn't tell you that. And it's like, well, withholding information is the same thing as lying, right? It's like, that's what I'm getting with this. Um, just be aware of that. Yeah. I'm just going to pull again on that seven of swords. Tell me more about that seven of swords, please, spirit. I feel like this person has been used to getting away with things for a long time. Um, Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. Thank you. The Three of Wands. Okay, tell me more about the Seven of Swords. What I'm getting is I feel like this person... Um, hold on one second. Tell me about that Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. I almost feel like this, there, there's like two different, yeah, there's, as I said that, two different, the two of swords popped out. There's two different sides to this person. It's like they want this happiness here with you. 
they have this deep emotion for you, this overflowing emotion with that Ace of Cups, but then it's like, then they try to also see like, is there something better that will come along? So I feel like this person could breadcrumb. Like it's like they tell you one thing and they do another. Like I was saying, this person could suffer from anxiety here. This could also be you, sleepless nights, like worrying about this person. Like, yo, where are they at? Because they said they were coming back and now they're not. Like I just, yeah. Um, just be aware of this, Virgo. If you know this person to be deceitful, if you know them to be indecisive about you, about this commitment, um, just know like that energy I feel like has been the energy they've been in for a long time. Um, there's a lot of physical connection here between the two of you, but I just feel like this person struggles with emotions here. Like there's no cups on the board, right? Like I feel like that, well, that's not true, but the cups that are on the board are not expressing emotion. There's not communication here. There's no communication here. Yeah. All the swords are down except for the two of swords and that's indecision. So like this person really struggles with their communication here. Um, I'm not going to tell you what they lied about because it's going to be different for all of you, right? But these two energies together is like inconsistent, deceptive, withholding information, trying to get away with things, right? Ghosting, breadcrumbing, like hot and cold energies. So just be aware of that. Like that's in their intentions here. It's like they don't want to do that anymore, but not wanting to do it is one thing and not actually doing it is another, right? So yeah, they said other deck. So let's do that. Let's go to the other deck. Tell me about the potential outcome, please, spirit, between Virgo and this person. So you're getting the nine of cups here. So I mean, there is wish fulfillment here. There is happiness, but I almost feel like it's like temporary. Like it's like, it's fleeting. Um, yeah, because look, you're getting the seven of swords again, the six of cups. This is definitely someone from your past. Definitely someone you dealt with already. You're getting the magician again, Aries energy here. It's like, this person wants commitment again with the four of wands. Like I feel like the way they feel about you is like you, they want you, they want this. Um, but there's still deception going on here with that seven of swords. It could even be just them like withholding how they feel about you, just not communicating because there's no communication here, right? I just feel like this person struggles with their emotions. They're not able to express how they feel. And it's like they, they like that's literally them like sneaking off with information. And it could be about something they've done or just they just don't talk like they don't they don't communicate um and again like it's the seven of swords was with the six of cups too it's like I feel like this is something they've done for a long time right but I'm also getting like this is someone you've already dealt with before for sure um this could have been someone you were actually already engaged to for some of you I'm getting so just be aware here Virgo like if this person comes back you know exactly who I'm talking about like they're in the same energy I feel like their intentions are like it's like they're two different pe it's like they're battling two different uh people inside of them I, I know that sounds kind of weird but it's like they want this happiness here with you they want this but then they are still in the same energy they're not willing to put in the consistency and the work that it takes to actually like heal okay so let's see Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo here? Thank you for the messages so far, Spirit. What messages? Nope. Okay, we got sunglasses, watching, looking, perception, stalking. So this person could be checking you out, trying to see what you're up to. We got love call, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. There's that Knight of Cups energy. So it's going to come out of nowhere here where this person is going to reach out. Um, just be aware of their intentions, though. Phoenix, new phase in rekindle. Um, rekindle is really standing out for me. Renew and growth, changed mind, rise from ashes. Let's see. Any other messages for Virgo here? Abundance, positive mindset, manifest, gratitude and bliss, blessings. So that to me is spirit saying, you know, no matter what happens or what has gone on, like there's always something to be grateful for. Um, there's always abundance to, you know, kind of be in awe of. So we have outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. We got shock, sudden change, shocking news, surprise and epiphany transformation. There's that tower card 
literally even with the same lightning bolt like it's it's gonna come out of nowhere here that this person comes around again um any other messages please spirit i feel like there is a lot like there is happiness here between the two of you i'm just not feeling like it's um consistent that's just what i keep getting so we have coffee cup meeting and talking savoring the moment feeling elevated building friendship we got the butterfly evolving in growth next phase healing inner child releasing the past okay they said that's it let's go to the hidden truth oracle because i definitely feel like this person has some things to say spirit what messages do you have for virgo here what messages does virgo need to see spirit thank you so much for the messages so far I know that I crossed the line with you. I hope that you can forgive me one day. I hid who I really am from you. Any other messages, please, Spirit? We will be together again. So this person is pretty determined. Any other messages? Thank you. You came closer than anyone. I feel like there's a few more. Thank you. I remember every detail of that day. Thank you. I hide behind material things. My life is not as together as it seems. Also seeing you and I were too young. Oh, I said one more. So let's do it. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Okay, so let's get some from here to Virgo. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo here, please? Thank you. Ask your angels. So, you know, a mentor of mine told me, talk to your angels and your guides just like you would a friend. Um, once you start doing it more often and like meditating, you start to get answers. Like answers just come come to you. You got to look for a sign. Um, you can start to discern between your own thoughts and um, your guides and angels communicating with you. It takes time and practice, though. So. We got be assertive. Big happy changes and improving health. Okay, let's go to the Moonology and get one. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo, please? A win-win outcome is forecast. Thank you. A time for healing. Thank you. It's time to release negativity. Nothing will come of this situation. Okay, so let's get a wisdom of the oracle here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo, please? Thank you for the messages so far. Whoa! <laughs> that was a lot, but one did come out. We got Treasure Island, number nine. You could be seeing nines. 99, 999. So let's read that. Okay. Poverty consciousness and a sense of not enough casts a shadow on your path. These ideas and core beliefs come with a high cost. Do you really want to proclaim yourself a victim of disappointment and failed expectations? Are you avoiding success because you will grow so tall that others will want to cut you down? Or is it possible that you're caught in a fear that you will lose what you have acquired so you hold on so tight that you miss um, the opportunities to expand? You are challenged to change the way you see the world and move from a, from a perception of limitations to a perception of abundance. 
there was that abundance card again always something to be grateful for um, take a risk for you have nothing to lose except your confinement in a prison of your own making open the door and find the abundance waiting for you to claim it okay so let's get some of these here for you Virgo Okay, so these could be initials of you, this person, numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, what have you. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it does not mean it's not your reading. So we got B, B again, T, R, A, Y. U and the number six. Okay, Virgo, so I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Love and light.